I gained nine points from the first time I took my MCAT to the second time I took my MCAT. So I'm going to cut to the chase and just talk about some things that I focused on in order to see that improvement on my MCAT study. The number one question that I tend to get asked for people that want to start studying for the MCAT or plan to take the MCAT or maybe have already started is where to actually start. So the problem with the MCAT is that there is so much information that it feels kind of unmanageable and it's very stressful to try to organize yourself, which is why it took me weeks in order to figure out where I even wanted to start. I mean, the MCAT has four sections, right? It has Tempest, bio biochem, cars, and then psych -soch. And then when you start to consider every subsection within those individual sections of the exam, it can feel like completely unmanageable and an insane amount of information. In order to save time when you're actually starting your studying, see what the questions look like. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I see people that just right off the bat pick up a book or a textbook and or you know they start watching lectures and they don't understand what the questions actually look like how you're going to be tested on this material because you can know front to back all of you know the metabolic pathways when you take biochem but when it comes to applying them to passages and or the way that they ask these questions you're not going to know where to start and you're going to feel overwhelmed and you might even feel like you have to go back and review that content again when realistically you feel comfortable, you just don't know how it was actually approached or assessed in the exam. I would 100% recommend you either take a diagnostic exam just to see where you are and to see what the questions and passages look like and how you're gonna be tested. Or number two, just look at the UWorld free trial and then just see what the questions look like, even if it's like walkthrough videos online. Speaking of content, when should you start reviewing content? When should you stop? Are you ever really done reviewing content? And my answer is no, because what ends up happening a lot of the time is that while you are studying your content, right? So your content studying phase, you're trying to take notes and absorb all of this information and just review as much as you can, right? To prepare you for whatever possible arrangement of questions you can get on a full length, right? And when you review the full length and you see all of the mistakes you made is when you're actually gonna be able to use your mistakes to your benefit. And you're gonna be able to take notes and look at every answer option, read the passage in depth and really key in those mistakes. Or you know what, I thought histidine wasn't a basic amino acid or whatever it is, you can see what your mistakes are and that way you don't make those mistakes anymore. But with that being said, in order to understand your mistakes, content review never really and truly 100% ends because you need to be willing and understanding enough with yourself. And this is when it can get frustrating because it's gonna feel like you're never done learning. You are never really going to be done with content. And I don't mean that every time you get a question wrong, you need to sit down and have like, two weeks worth of reviewing mitosis and meiosis because you got some kind of chromosomal question wrong. I'm talking about to the point where you are able to understand your mistakes and see the pattern and be knowledgeable enough to not make the same mistake again. I don't think there was ever a single full length that I took that I didn't learn something new from. And that's why I think that it's very troublesome and almost problematic when people try to find a time frame for when you're supposed to be 100% done with content. You're gonna need little refreshers here and there and you're gonna need to take notes and just make sure that you don't make the same mistakes again. If not, what's the point of reviewing full lengths? Exactly. The next thing I wanted to mention is actually something that a lot of people don't tend to focus on the most. And by a lot of people, I mean me. Um, so something that brought me up, I want to say a lot of points on my MCAT and even when I was practicing my full lengths was actually psych -soch. A lot of people undermine psych -soch, but you don't realize that for me, I thought it was simpler to raise my points up in psych -soch compared to something like cars or chem -phys where it's really just more up to chance. psych -soch is where you see more recycled material, right? So you'll see Freud versus Skinner versus Pavlov. So you'll see psych -soch is very much memorization based and you're gonna get the same types of questions over and over again. It's not like chem -phys or bio-biochem 
or even cars where it's really up to chance because sometimes some passages are very simple and straightforward and other times they're very complex. I feel like Psych Soch gives you more of an opportunity to just use your information that's just engraved in your brain. And for that, I would definitely use Anki. I've mentioned this in my other videos. Love Anki, amazing. Focus on Psych Soch because a lot of people wanna really, really do well on Bio Biochem, on Chem Phys. And I understand the importance of those two sections, obviously, because they require a lot of equations, a lot of formulas and conversions and units, and it can feel very overwhelming. But Psych Soch is equally as important and it's a very simpler, I want to say simpler because it really involves just like almost remote memorization and looking at practice questions. If you really lock in in Psych Soch, you're going to get those points up. Another thing that people tend to ask me is whether I did like an online, like a comprehensive course or like one of those online virtual courses. I did. I did use Blueprint and I did like the, the more expensive option that lasts like a year. I did enjoy their full lengths. Um, but honestly, I didn't get much use out of the actual videos and like their notebook aspect and things like that. I liked the fact that I got it, but I probably honestly would not get it again. But what helped me the most and what I find helps my friends the most was actually UWorld. UWorld is something that people will be talking about until you're in medical school because they just have that many courses. The first thing that I did was the free trial because I just wanted to see how it was and I saw my friends were always using it and I was like, all right, I might as well just see if I like it and then I'll consider getting it or not. As much as I liked the fact that, you know, Blueprint had the books and all of that stuff, I just found that it wasn't as useful and it wasn't as similar to the actual MCAT as UWorld is. And honestly, that makes sense because UWorld is like directly partnered with AAMC and they even have like their full lengths on their like courses and stuff online, which is awesome. But I just liked the explanations on UWorld were awesome. When I was doing the question banks, they would really go in like detail over like what's correct and what's wrong and then why. If you go onto their Q bank, you can even create your own test. And then that way you can click on a certain topic and just have like an overview of everything. Or you can click on certain specifics. For example, if I was studying chem phys and I was like, damn, I'm really bad at fluids. I would just click fluids and then maybe just click, I don't know, thermodynamics. So it's not 100% fluids. I can do it timed. I can do it untimed. Um, it's awesome. Like this one, I'm going to generate this test. You see that it has like longer questions. Wow, I do not miss seeing this. My friends and I just kind of lived by UWorld because it was just so useful. Oh, also something that was really useful that I didn't know about is that if your friend also has UWorld, um, you can go to the create test tab. This is something I didn't know until I was actually doing it with my friend. My friend Toby and I were studying for our MCAT together and we were like, damn, I wish we could do the same questions, but like, on separate computers so we can like take our time and have our separate work and then come back together to like cross-reference our work and see like what we did wrong or if we ran out of time like how we can fix it and it turns out that if you guys both have UWorld then you can go to custom and then just copy over the test ID and you guys can both work on like the same exact questions with the same time frame and everything my UWorld subscription had run out right before my MCAT. Like I had about a week before my MCAT and I didn't have UWorld to use. And I was actually freaking out because I had gotten so used to just coming on here, having all of these questions available. It was a great way to start my studying. Once I was done with content review and just focusing more on practice and trying to just get as many questions as I can and doing my Anki, it was just so easy to use and it felt like everything was there. I mean, there's flashcards, there's videos. You can, they have their own like notebook that you can edit in and you can type on your own notes as you watch the videos or as you read your textbook or whatever it is that you wanna do. I just like feeling like everything is in one place and I feel like you all did that for me. The fact that they have a textbook that I can open right next to a video. I mean, it was just so useful for me. It also plays a role in regulating the expression of the story. I also appreciated that the videos were pretty short and straight to the point. It's not like an hour video of transcription and translation. It was maybe four minutes, maybe two minutes. Oh, and this is only bio biochem. Chem phys, obviously, same idea. There's also some psych social on here. But the car section, I 
I genuinely think that the best cars practice is the one that I got from UWorld because it is the closest thing I've seen to the real thing. I mean, I've tried the free ones online. I've tried, you know, videos where people do walkthroughs and examples. And I just find that these are as close as it gets. So 100% recommend using UWorld. Obviously very cohesive, very nicely put. If you guys haven't tried UWorld or if maybe you've seen your friends use it, but you're not sure if you want to purchase it, I would just do the free trial because that's what I did. And I realized how useful it was but I would wait until you're actually able to practice and get use out of it because you don't want to just, you know, launch the free trial and not be able to use it. Now that we've talked about what to do when you start, whether content ever really ends, and in my opinion, the best prep course, you are going to need to understand how to study and where to study. You can't study in the same place every single time. And I know this feels kind of random because it's not really how to study, it's more where to study. But something that a lot of us don't consider is the fact that your MCAT is not on your laptop in your room. Your MCAT, you're gonna walk in and it's whatever seat's available, it's probably cold, it's very quiet, everyone is stressed, your stomach hurts, okay? And you need to be realistic with yourself and you can't study in the same spot every single day. Obviously, there's places where people are comfortable. I'm comfortable in this corner in my room, but that's not where you're gonna take your tests. And you need to be willing to shift your comfort so that you don't accidentally condition yourself to only be able to concentrate, focus, or take full lengths at a certain area. I mean, I'm one of those people that I will go to the library and sit in the same exact seat and I'll get annoyed when my seat's taken or when somebody else is there or when it's really loud and I have to move. You don't know how the conditions are gonna be if the person next to you is clicking really loud or whatever it is. I would say to try to mimic exam conditions as well as you can. One thing that I didn't count for, I did get a mouse to study for my MCAT the second time because the first time it was kind of strange to click with the mouse when I was used to swiping on my keyboard. But another thing that I realized the second time that I didn't account for was the actual desktop. Obviously, I don't just have a desktop lying around, but the fact that I couldn't just pull the computer in closer to me and like sit crisscross how I'm sitting right now was kind of uncomfortable because I was so used to being comfortable when I was taking the full length. And these are just small minute details that don't seem to bother you in the moment until you're taking the test and you just didn't think about it. And it's just those small things that add up together and make you feel more comfortable in the moment and will allow you to boost that score up. Not everything is in your brain. Some things are just in your environment and you need to just help yourself as much as you can. Another thing that I wasn't gonna mention, but now that we're talking about minute details that will help your exam day, um, where is it? Got this MCAT practice sheet online. It's literally what they give you on the exam day. It comes with the wet erase marker that you get on your exam day and this is something else that just helped me like kill the nerves i still have my work on here traumatizing but it's on here this is just like the one on the mcat like i was saying maybe i link it down below or something for you guys in case you guys want to see it all right so those are just some things that i thought of to help ease yourself into your mcat studying and just some small things that i chose to focus on in order to raise my score two three four points feels like a billion dollars okay so i'll take what i can get that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely consider like i said getting that free trial for you world just because i do think that it's really useful i might link it in the description box as well for anybody that just wants to try it i hope this helps somebody let me know if you guys have any questions and i will either answer them in the comments or maybe you inspire another video like this one so yeah thanks for watching bye